Okay, this is the 3900. Now in export mode. And here is the uh, software for uh, 3900. As you see, we set the monitor level. So voice like talk back, 25. Timeout time is off, busy is off, high cut on, Roger bleep off. And for those that ask about the bleep, how many are there? There you go, on or off, there's just the one. As to be on protection, you can see Vox is off, time is three, dynamic mic, you can change uh, Dyna or Leg. There's uh, noise reduction, TX and RX. Uh, course for transmit, so you get the zeros, fine for R for receive. And you see it says ASQ on, so we'll switch that off. Beep tone, uh, we don't like it obviously. Show on the screen the level of the mic, the mic gain. Show the vox level, show the squelch level. So you can see, we'll write that to the radio. There we go. No, we won't. Might help if I set it up probably. Con seven. Let's try again. Write the data. There we go. Set radio, it says PC. It's now completed. So now we should disconnect the data cable, which we have, it's not in the PC. Switch off the radio, and when you switch it on, the horrendous beep should be gone, so we'll see. That's also bad enough. And here we go. So you see, that's where the problem is. You read, you read from the radio, you write the new settings for extension band. Beep tone is off, look, you can see. We switched it off, and you still have that uh, noise. So that's why the software is not useful. Roger Beep doesn't turn on, high cut doesn't come on, monitor doesn't come on, literally nothing. It just, uh, something between the radio and the software, just uh, no bueno.